All right, Trevor. So we worked the last couple weeks together. Uh, we started off with an on-course lesson over at Miami Shores. We now finished here over at Fish Island. Um, we went through a fitting. Um, we also went through a couple of lessons together. So today we finished off with an on-course. So I think it's really good that I love the structure of going from an on-course to some technique work and then back to the course. So today I want to be focused on the routine. And we have pre-show routine and we have post-show routine. At your level, it's to hit execute good golf shots. It actually half of the work I would say gets done in the pre-show routine. You can have the best technique in the world, but if you're not able to transfer it from the practice facility onto a practice round, onto a tournament, the routine is the way you can take it to the golf course. So the things I would like you to work on, you can even time yourself or let somebody time you. So you have somebody with a stopwatch from the moment you walk in to the moment you hit the ball. The, thing, the next thing you said, speak out your thing. Maybe in the beginning you can speak out your steps. So maybe physically say, visualize. Physically say, put the uh, address. And then physically say, align. But then maybe afterwards just go one, two, three, four, five out loud. And then the next step would be to maybe say one, two, three, four, five inside of your head. And then the next step is that it's almost automatic. This might take a couple of months, but those are a couple of things that are good going on. The golf game itself, um, I think you should, as I said, each part of the game, you'll have to create this. So if it's a putting routine, if it's a short game routine, then bang, maybe in the beginning, write it down. Um, what else, do you have any, add to that anything you feel like, you can, what you think is the thing you have to improve your routine, and what's the one thing that you think you did well over these last couple of lessons? I mean, I think the visualization, the pre-shot visualization, and, and visualizing the shot shape and, and what I want it to do has definitely helped me. I've found myself hitting more when I'm visualizing. Um, and then right now I think the big thing for me is focusing on low shot and moving into the next, um, letting, you know, whether it's a bad shot or a good shot, taking what I can from it and carrying that into my next shot to, to improve there. Yeah, so in the end, like this is our last hole here and all the way up to the green, you, before hole, but you, you, you've had a lot of good shots recently in previous rounds and you saw today that when you had a good shot, you had a different reaction. So post shot routine is actually, you know, you're almost talking to yourself after the shot. Like, you know, okay, uh, this was the shot, this is my balance, this is my posture. And you can kind of be your own teacher when you're doing that. So post shot routine is almost as critical thing because if you play over a four round tournament, if you're playing 36 holes in one day, that's, by that reaction, you can do a lot of good things. So overall, really good. I think in a couple months we'll do this again. Same kind of build up um, from on course to some lessons back to the course. Because here we can really see, I can see your habits when they are a little out of whack on the course and then can also see improvements after a couple lessons. So good to work with you. Thanks. All right, work on those couple of things. Yeah. Uh, four or five things and I'll see you soon. All right, thanks. All right.